All right, so like I was saying, we could do some detective work to be able to find out what point we're going to be using, right? So again, these are the two points that were given. Let's go look at our answer choices to see if we can get a clue for what point they're actually using, right? So looking over here, well, if you notice, all they have is three and five, three and five, for five and three, three and five, five and three. So by default, right, we're going to use a five and three. But to show you that it doesn't matter what point you use, I'm going to do both answers, right? So now that we have our point and our slope, we can actually write our point slope formula for this graph. So looking at here, again, I'm going to do two different uh, scenarios here. Using both points, you can see the difference because it is very crucial. All right, and some of you guys might not be lucky enough to have the same problem that I have. So looking at here, the first scenario I'm going to use is the point 5, 3. The second scenario I'm going to use is the point negative 3, 4. Now remember, these are just points that are given to me in the graph, right? So again, this is x1, y1. This is x1, y1. Why? Because these are, again, points that are just any given scenario. Right? And we know that my slope for all scenarios was a negative one eighth. So look, y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. I'm going to plug in exactly what I know. y minus is given to me. It's part of the equation. Now look, I'm going to put parentheses. What is y1? My y1 is 3. So I just plug it in. My slope is a negative one eighth x minus x minus what is x1 oh x1 is a positive 5 so i put the 5 in parentheses and i just simplify here so y minus 3 is just y minus 3 equals a negative 1 8 x minus 5 is just x minus 5. now suppose you have the other point right so again nothing changes but instead of using 5 term i'm going to use this point here so y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. Again, y minus is the formula. So I have to plus, I have to rewrite what's there. It's y minus y1 minus. Now, what is y1? y1 here is a 4. So I just put down the 4. Equals my slope, which is a negative 1 eighth. x minus. But look very carefully. Look what happens. This x1 is actually a negative 3. So here, notice how this minus is not that negative sign. No, no, no. This minus is part of the formula. See, x minus, x minus. So this x1 was a negative 3, so I plug it in there. Negative 3. Now we simplify. Well, y minus 4 is just y minus 4. My slope is a negative 1 eighth. Now look. Negative and a negative give me a positive. So this becomes x plus 3. So again, notice how both of these are the same equation. The only difference is that, again, one of these was used with the point negative 4, 3. I'm sorry, negative 3, 4. This equation was with the point 5, 3. But nonetheless, they still give you the same line. So going back to our homework. Uh, here, the first problem was y minus 3 and negative 1 eighth x minus 5. And again, it is right here. y minus 3, 1 eighth x minus 5. All right, all right. Write equation of point slope for the line that passes through the given point and slope. All right, all right. See, so it's actually more of what we just did. So... Looking at this problem, I'm going to first write down what's given. So I'm given the point negative 4, 2. And I'm also given the slope of 6. Now, again, it's very crucial. Notice how here they don't specify the equation on how they want it. So I'm going to type it in using point slope. Or actually, they do. Type your answer in point slope form. Again, be very careful. Sometimes they can try to ask you for slope intercept. Again, here they want point slope. So I'm going to use that format. So again, first off, I have this information given. I'm given a point and I'm given a slope. So again, looking at this formula, point slope, right? 
it's y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Well, I mean, everything's kind of given to us. m is 6. This point is x1 and y1, right? So I'm just going to plug in my information or substitute. So, and remember, because we have signs in this formula, I have to put my substitutions in parentheses because I want to verify that nothing is being left out. Y minus, Y minus, Y minus. Now, again, I'm going to put Y1 in parentheses just to be sure that I'm not missing any signs. Y1 happens to be 2. There it is. My slope is 6, so I write it down. X minus, X minus, X minus. Uh-oh, this X1 is negative 4. So, again, I'm going to put it in parentheses because I don't want to get any sort of signs incorrect. And there it is. We simplify. Y minus 2 is just Y minus 2. I cannot combine that. Don't try to sit here and write 2Y. Y minus 2 cannot be combined. Now here, 6, negative and a negative gives me a positive. So I get X plus 4. And I'm done here. Now again, I'm stopping here because the problem asked for a point slope formula. Could they have asked me for a point uh, slope intercept? Yes. And if that was the case, I would have to actually have to solve this for y. But they didn't ask for me to do that here. All they wanted was this equation. y minus 2 equals 6 x plus 4. So I'm going to go here. y minus 2 equals 6 parentheses x plus 4. There it is. Again, I got this by just plugging in the point. Negative 4 is my x1. 2 is my y1. Be careful with the signs, guys. And there it is. I stopped here because, again, it asked for point slope. Make sure you're being cautious here. All right, all right. Problem number uh, five, I believe, says, write an equation in point-slope form. All right, so again, point-slope form. The line that goes between these two points. All right, so again, not too difficult of a problem. We just have to be a little cautious of what we're given and what is it that we're looking for. So I'm going to first start off by writing the points. Negative 12, 8. And 6, 2. All right. Now, again, they want it in point slope. So, again, me being the great student that I am, I am first going to write down the general form of what I'm looking for, right? So again, they gave me these two points. They gave me these two points, right? They want me to find this. Y minus Y1 equals MX minus X1. Now, looking at the other examples, we know that we can pick one number and plug in the X1 and the Y1, right? And we're done with that part. But wait a minute. There's actually something missing. We don't know our slope. Right? So what do we have to do first? Well, the first thing we have to do is actually figure out our slope. Right? So step number one is first figure our slope. Now, unlike a graph where I can do the rise over the run, now we're actually given points here. So how do I find slope between two points? Y2 minus Y1 minus or over X2 minus X1. All right? Bring it back a little bit of 3, 1. So in this case, well, we label our points. Let's call this x1, y1, x2, y2, right? Remember, the first thing I have to do is first find slope. Because here, I have two points that I can plug in for the x1, y1, but I don't know my slope. So the first thing I have to do is find my slope. So I find slope being y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm going to plug it in. And remember, like we did in 3, 1, Put parentheses because we do not want to get any of this messed up. 
The minus sign is part of the formula, guys. Y2 minus Y1. X2 minus X1. All right? So here, looking at this, Y2, my Y2 is 2. Minus sign, minus sign. My Y1 is 8. And then my X2 is 6. Minus sign, minus sign. My X1 is a negative 12. Again, you can use your uh, TI Inspire to punch this into your calculator and simplify this for you. I'll go ahead and do this, um, you know, the old way. So 2 minus 8 is a negative 6. 6 minus a negative 12. Obviously, this becomes a positive. So I'm left with 18. And I'm going to simplify. So I get that my slope is a negative 1 third. All right. That is my slope. And again, if you're not sure how I did that, just plug it into your calculator. The question that you have to be careful with or the step is make sure you're plugging everything in carefully. Again, y2 is 2, y1 is 8, 2 minus 8. x2 is 6 minus 6 minus x1 is a negative 12. Be very careful here. All right, so look. Now I have what needed. I have my slope, and I have two points to choose from. All right, so again, to show you that it doesn't matter what point you use, I'm going to use both to show you guys that it is okay. Whatever route you decide to go with, it is A-OK. -okay. So in this case, the point here I'm going to use is 12, negative 12, 8. Over here, the point I'm going to use is 6, 2. So again, every single step here, y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. Y minus Y1 equals MX minus X1. So again, we just plug in our information. Y minus, as a formula, Y minus, Y minus. My Y1 here is 8. So I'm put that in parentheses just to be sure and cautious. My slope, we just got from finding slope from the two points, which is a negative 1 third. So it's a negative 1 third. X minus, X minus. X1 here is a negative 12, so be very careful. Notice I put that within parentheses. So I'm going to simplify this. Y minus 8 equals a negative 1 third X plus 12. Now, again, you can enter this one, and you should be A-OK. -okay, but again, to show you that either way works, I'm going to do both of them. So again here y minus y minus that's given y1 happens to be 2 my slope was a negative one third x minus x1 here is 6 i'm putting inside the parentheses just to be cautious and we simplify y minus 2 equals a negative one third x minus 6. so again you can answer either or to show you I'm going to use the left one just because the change in sign really stresses some people out. But again, I'm going to enter this one. But no matter which one I enter, they are both going to be correct. So I'm going to enter the one in the equation. So it was y minus 8 equals negative 1 third parentheses x plus 12. There it is. Again, be very careful. This is a format, okay? The format is in parentheses. Now, a question says, hey, student, I want you to write this in slope-intercept form. Uh-oh. Well, what is slope-intercept? Well, if you guys remember, slope-intercept slope -intercept is y equals mx plus b. Does something change? Not necessarily. All we got to be careful about is the following. 